Monday morning and I'm going to netball training. Guys, I'm injured, so I've been told to rub my foot with this massage. What's it called? Bar. And everyone else is playing. But yeah, this has been hurting since last week Tuesday, and then I forgot about it. But now it hurts again. So I've got a rest up for Wednesday. So I'm back from netball and back in my room which is not too messy actually. <laughs> Therese was here on the weekend and I got back from work and he had tidied up the whole room like he put my clothes away, he made the bed, he done so much I was so impressed. But yeah, back from netball my foot really hurts and it's really annoying. So I think I've got a lecture at 1 o'clock, so between now and then, what's the time now? It is 9.42, I'm going to have a shower. Therese bought me a um, TV slash like, project bleh, projector screen, so I'm actually going to put it in the space that I've got for the TV. So yeah, let's just sort that out. Now I'm just going to, I might, yeah, I've got to plan my work and plan the week to be honest because I've got quite a lot of Spanish work to do and seeing as it's reading week I want to make sure that I really like do a lot and catch up on my notes and just, yeah, do really well. <laughs> this bucket, just in case. Actually, you guys don't know this, but um, Therese and I are climbing Mount Kilimanjaro next year, September the 2nd, and it's an eight-day walk slash climb, and we're doing it um, to raise money for Meningitis Research Foundation, so we'll leave our donation um, links down below. But we both have to raise £3,000 in order to climb Mount Kilimanjaro and it's for a great cause because students are the second most, susceptible, second most susceptible to the disease and unfortunately it can lead to death and one of my best friends lost his cousin China to meningitis in March so this is in memory of China, may she rest in peace and yeah. Um, it should be one of the hardest things we ever do in our lives, but it's going to be a really good experience. And it's one lifetime experience, so if you could donate anything, literally anything, it would be really much appreciated. I've got so much work to do. I'm going to just start, right. Revolutionary. <laughs> What are you making? Tell us. Nutella. What do you you're making Nutella from scratch, yeah? From scratch. Yeah. <sighs> People don't want to cooperate. What are you actually gonna make? I'm not even filming your face, I'm just filming the, the eggs on the pan. Omelets. Omelets. Nice. Milk first. <laughs> Guys. Oh, no. Milk first. Milk first. Only because it has to heat up. Oh, and and my oh oh, she's she's you know, 
Why? Why would you do this? Mm. Mm. Double flip. Yeah, there's a lot of pieces on the floor. Okay, let me ask you a question. What do you think about uni so far? Uni so far? I think the best thing so far is Africa. Me, Africa. Say my name again. <laughs> Say my name again. I, I said it wrong purposely. No, you. what's my name? Huh? I feel. Thank you. What is the best part of uni? Yeah, the best part of living away from home. Aww, oh, that's cute. I did mum and dad see this yet. Beethoven. 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 Guys, this is Matt. Hey. Tell them. And bad. I'm asking everyone what they think of uni so far. What I think of uni so far? Uh, yeah, it's all right. <laughs> is that <laughs> that's it? A, that's about all I've got. No, for tell them about your homesick experience. My homesick experience. Well, visited home, feeling a bit <laughs> depressed. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh see, that's what yeah. I love. Everyone's friendly, so we've got that. Okay. Yeah, Enjoy your lecture. You know. <laughs> Bye. Okay guys, so my foot absolutely kills, so I'm on the way to the medical centre, fun. So guys, I went to the wrong place, I'm now in the walk-in clinic centre, waiting to be seen. And I'm really tired and I hate like hospitals, clinics, GPs, I just hate stuff like that so I'm not having fun. <sighs> I'm back, I picked up my parcels and I'm not going to show you them because I'm going to do a haul for you guys so yeah. So guys, I'm about to make a tuna pasta bake. I have got sweet corn, silly pasta, tuna chunks, and that's tuna as well, cheese, onion, pepper, black pepper. And then I figured I cannot be bothered to make a cheese sauce with like flour, milk, cheese, and all of that. So <laughs> I just bought like lasagna sauce, but it's cheese sauce, so I'm guessing it's still gonna work. But yeah, let's begin. I'll show you the final product. Say hello to YouTube. Oh, uh, hi, YouTubers. 
<laughs> I don't know if I can hear you. Um, yeah. How was your day? Um, Alright then, that's pretty straightforward. I'm just going to get some uh, um, studying now. Okay. What about yours? I had to go to the medical centre. Why? What did she say was on with it? You, yeah. wait, what, you mean after you told me that? After I told you I had to sit out of netball, yeah. Good morning, guys. Well, it's actually not morning anymore. I did not film this morning because I had to go to the GP. Then they sent me back again because I needed to finish off my registration. So I've done that. And then um, they've given me an appointment for four, ten past four later on. Oh, I'm so hungry. Mm. I'm going to the library later with my girl Millie, um, she does English, literature and creative writing. I don't even know if that's the name of the course, but she's always talking about creative writing. So I'm eating my lunch now and then I'll show you Millie later when we're in the library. <laughs> This is the natural library look. Huh? The natural library look. Huh? <laughs> the lighting is so bad in here. Your concentration face. Hmm? So look at your concentration face. <laughs> Bed. <laughs> I look like a face, my skin looks good. This camera mm, does wonders. Guys, look at my flatmates. Hi! Oh! Oh, camera! Mama made it! So I'm back from the GP. Apparently, I have. Plantar facetis, which isn't that major, but it does need rest and some exercises on the foot. So I guess that means no netball for me tomorrow. I couldn't go cheerleading today, which is really sad. So I bought myself a cheeseburger because I felt sorry for myself. I think I'm going to eat my burger, do some editing, and then probably go back to the library or just do work in my room and I think that is coming to the end of the night really it's about six now um my final words really are what I think about uni is that if you feel lonely it's almost your fault in a sense that you actually need to put yourself out there because no one's gonna come and like come to your door and answer you like oh do you want to come here like, at, this is at the beginning anyway. Later on, once you've got your friendship groups, like people knock on your door, message you, oh, this is happening today, do you wanna come? And that's really nice. But at first, you have to put yourself out there. So don't be, oh, don't have friends, da, 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 da. You're the one that had to have gone out there to make the friends. And don't be afraid, like this whole, like, oh, I don't wanna go by myself, that stops at uni. If you wanna like go to a library, if you wanna go to an event, a social for the sports club, any sports that you're trying, don't think, oh, I don't have a friend to go, so I can't go. You better go by yourself because you'll find your friends there. Also food, make sure you cook in bulk. It's just easier because you'll either find yourself going to buy nonsense because you can't remember to cook properly or just not eating at all. And that's just not good options. And then apart from that, stay in touch with your family at home. Because don't forget about them, they still exist. It's very independent. Like today, I've been here for a month and a bit. And I only just found out, well, not only just found out, but I went to a certain part of the library. We have two wings. Where all the history books are, I didn't even know about until today some boy showed me. And your faith. I haven't been to church since I got here. And some people think, oh my gosh, like I'm a bad Catholic, I'm a bad Christian, I'm a bad, like whatever religion you are. But I feel as though, 
how do I put this? God knows that you're on this stage of your journey in life. So one, I'm improving other aspects of my life, like social skills and like just becoming more independent because independence is a key thing that I have definitely grown massively on. So I've improved that part of my life. And then, now that that's like happened, I'll then go back to improving <clears throat> my faith. So don't be worried if like, you haven't been to church yet or you start uni and you kind of haven't been to church or you haven't been praying as much because so many areas of your life is being tested on at, as soon as you start. Your independence, your social skills, all sorts and your like learning skills, your ability to adapt to a new, a new subject or just much harder content. So if some areas are sliding, I don't think that means that's it, oh my gosh, like oh my gosh, me and religion are done. It will get back. I will gradually get back into it. But I'm independent right now and then I'm going to be independent and more God fearing. So yeah. And deadlines. They're listed at the start, but you're not reminded, oh, by the way, there's this due in two weeks, this due in a week, this due in two days. They just come and it's up to you to remember it. <laughs> no one's going to remind you. So yeah, I think that's my, ooh, the lighting's not good there. I think that is my uni tips. Not even tips, just how I view uni so far. It's been a really good experience so far. I've done loads of new things, like cheerleading, which I love. And yeah, just put yourself out there, meet new people, and enjoy. And obviously do your work, because that's what you're here for. Do not forget, Everyone party, 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 but remember, it's a degree as well. <laughs> Bye.